I honestly, no matter what I pictured, it was gonna be better. So, like, you look incredible. <laughs> we have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as one so monumental, we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. For those of you who don't know, on their very first date, Nicole knew it would be forever. And then enter Travis, the tall, handsome baseball player. What I love about Travis, he is a partner. What started as sneaking pictures of Travis before their first date at the Burger Bistro led to screenshots of their conversations being sent. I like the fact that you were honest with everything, texted Trav. You're smart. You use a lot of big words, too. I want to find my other half, as corny as it sounds. Someone who's my best friend that I can hang out with and have fun doing absolutely nothing with. Someone who gets along with my family and has a big heart. Nicole would describe Travis as a very patient person, which brings a good balance to Nicole. Nicole is self-described as overly passionate and sees Travis as her grounding force. When Travis was asked to describe Nicole, he said from the very first date in Port Jefferson, the conversation was just easy. Travis has made it clear that he wants to experience life, all facets of life, and he wants to do those things with Nicole by his side. Since he's met Nicole, he's been as attentive, as funny, as sharp as he's ever been. And every time I talk to him, I get more and more proud seeing who he's turned into. So Nicole, I eternally thank you so much for meeting my brother and turning him in to my hero. I'm gonna speak for dad tonight and tell you that you are the most beautiful bride. You are an incredible person and he is so proud of you. And he is parting the skies so we can get some photos outside today. Travis, thank you for loving me unconditionally, even when I make it difficult. You have taught me to let go and trust when I've only ever known to grasp more tightly in fear. You have given me the space to grow, and through that growth, your love has remained constant. You keep me safe. You love me and have taught me to believe it, and in your love, you have given me the strength to learn to love myself. Today, as I become your wife, I'd like to make you a few promises. I vow to be your biggest supporter. My faith in you is unrelenting. I vow to walk with you into the unknown with faith of an even brighter tomorrow, even when the unknown is dark and scary. Together we can do anything. I vow to be the Jessica Day to your Nick Miller and the Cece to your Schmidt. I vow to love you, to challenge you, to cherish you, and to choose you every day. Nicole, mm -hmm. you are the woman I love, the woman I can't wait to be with when we're apart, the woman that teaches me about life and who I want to be for our family. You're one of the strongest people I know and have been so lucky to witness it day in and day out. 
today and every day from this moment forward. I vow to love you at your best and love you at your worst. I vow to protect you and our family as long as I live. I vow to be your best friend and confidant. I love you to the point it hurts. Today, you make me not only the luckiest man, but the happiest man on the face of the earth, and I look forward to forever with you. I now get to say something you've been looking forward to hearing for a long time. By the powers vested in me uh, and Kathleen Glenn, um, I now pronounce you husband and wife, you make us the bride. Yeah.